Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Knowledge Keen and today we are going to see some special episode on DOM. Okay, uh, DOM is nothing but document ab object model. The word itself says that it is related something to the document part of your browser. Okay, whenever we are creating an application, the white space that we see, that's the document part. We are going to see it right on the screen if you're seeing my screen. So this whole thing, the browser, we always say that browsers window. Okay, so the browser that we see this whole thing is we, we always call as window if you see we have that minimize maximize and close button so this is part of your window okay the back buttons the refresh this whole thing is window but where is the document the document area is the white space that you're seeing on your browser is nothing but your document if you simply check this if you want to check this key where exactly this dom lies okay some websites say that uh, DOM starts from the window. The main parent entity of your uh, DOM is window. But some websites say that it, it might start from document. But in actual, the whole thing starts from your windows. Okay, because your window is part of your browser, right? And you can access all the things that are related to your window inside your uh, document part. Everything that you see inside this white space, that is nothing but your document part. Okay, and how do we re realize which part comes under window and which part comes under document okay so basically it's nothing but as it's as simple windows is the first entity that comes into your browser so this whole thing that you're seeing whenever you open a chrome firefox internet explorer edge safari opera any browser if you open the whole frame itself is called as window okay and in each of this window whenever you see the white space the white part that is called as a document part okay if you want to check it, we can even check the same thing from a browser's console. Okay, so how we can see this? Just go to just directly type window. Okay, this is in each and every developer tool or browser that you have. Just press F12, Control Shift I. We have seen this in our previous videos that this is there. And whenever you type this window, you can see n number of entities that are present along with the window these all the things are you can you can use it using the window object now window is an object that javascript provides okay that's an internal object that is there with each and every browser these all hundreds of things are there with the window object if you want to see what is what are the things that are inside a document so i'm saying things but it is basically the methods the properties or basically attributes are which are present inside the object document object uh, document part, document object comes under windows so what you have to do you just type window dot document dot and what are the whatever properties and methods that you're seeing all of these things come under your document object so document is nothing but right now and object so this is how basically you can clearly put in the values into your uh, browser and take from it so what are the things that consists into this document part okay if we just go ahead into our previous examples any example that we saw okay this is the head part right and this is the body part so all the things that occur into your body are a part of your document okay all the tags all the variables all the uh, scripts all the css that you write everything each and every entity is part of your document dom basically dom dom means now the document part so it is correlated to to each other document object model so the object that we are discussing the object that we previously saw that object is nothing but your dom so what are the things that are consisting into this dom let's quickly see this all the things that occur into the your body tag are made up of objects and these objects go into your dom so all the HTML elements or tags as object. Now, this uh, HTML elements, the H1 tags, the H2 tags, or all the tags that you're using in of HTML, the divs, the spans, or anything, each and everything will be converted as object and now will be stored as DOM. So why do we need this DOM? Okay, we are continuously speaking as HTML elements, objects, and everything. Your JavaScript needs to recognize each and everything that is being running into your browser or your application, in short. Okay, so your application, what it does, let's say that it has its own brain and it wants to identify each and everything that it is going to load into your body. Okay, 
so now what it does whenever your application is initially loaded what it does is it's converts all the things that is rendered into your document part and makes it understandable for it okay so that it can start understanding these things even if you're performing any click that click event so basically that they are called as events so those events also are stored into your browser's object okay so that that is a browser readable form okay browser can easily or javascript can easily read these objects and make more use of, of out of it so all the html elements oblique tags as objects the second point is all the element properties even the properties image src right the src is a property we have classes we have ids then we have like uh, i have written a simple example if you are reading this href of a tag so all these things even the attributes it it converts it into object and stores it into your dom okay all the methods that you write as i said the events the methods the functions that you are writing in javascript all these things are basically nothing but converted into your do objects and basically they are rendered into your dom so dom is nothing but a tree hierarchy which you are seeing right now okay so the initial part is your window then comes your document object that we have previously seen in the console and then all the links all the form tags and anchor tags and everything is being rendered into the same hierarchy into the tree structure and even if i'm saying form so there can be n number of form elements which are present into your forms right we have input tags we have check boxes radio buttons then we have like drop downs uh, even the drop downs like i have uh, mentioned that select select is a drop down if you want to create a combo box or basically a drop down so you you select a tag right so you can see that into whenever we are going to see our html chapter then select tag then we have like options so if you are rendering select tag then below select tag we have options so we have resets that we have button all these things basically they are part of your body and part of your body means they are part of your dom what are the methods of dom so if let's say that you have uh, something which is already stored into your dom and basically you want to retrieve it or basically you want to read it or you want to add something to it one of the video we have already seen we have used document dot write okay we directly used it document dot write whenever you see something like this document dot that means you are automatically reading the part of a, your document object model so document dot write will be writes into the document area the white area we have already seen this example before document dot write uh, dot write ln basically you are writing into the same body and on a new line get element by id so you can just pause the screen and read out the things that i have clearly written so we are going to see in depth all these methods one by one in our some of our next sessions because we are going to write programs we are going to write applications not only programs we are going to write some big applications and we are going to use these properties to get something from the dom as well as to put something into the dom okay so there is no need to worry that we are not going to see in this video it, this video is just to make you understand what is a dom so dom is something which is basically your browser understands okay these are the objects that your browser can understand so it's not only object but it can be a function so you are seeing some of the methods with which you can even write something on the browser or even you can retrieve something from the browser so the first two points basically you are writing on the browser the next all the points basically you are reading something from the browser so it is as simple as that okay if you have any query or if you don't understand something from this video or if you have some more questions about document object model please do let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer them as much as possible do subscribe like and do share with your friends thank you everyone thanks for watching